Hello everyone. We finally got our internet set up and now I am ready to make videos. This is a picture I got from one of the websites of Jehovah Witnesses. On the right hand side, Jehovah Witnesses, they look like they might be going to some kind of assembly some kind of building and on the other side it shows a bunch of people with picket signs and one of the signs up there says deceive the, the government body is trying to make the yes Jehovah Witnesses are really really bad people and I have um, an audio of a circuit overseer just gave his talk a couple of weeks ago and I like to play that and then I go on more about this picture that they're not doing what they can do to help them to develop a strong spiritual spiritual base you think about the ever-changing fashions and fads in the world that we live in the entertainment, food, exercise and health routines. And for some people, that's their, their whole world. That's what everything is focused on. And because of that, they're not paying attention and they're knocked off balance, so to speak. There's also those who try to shake our faith in the form of those who once loved the truth, but have left the truth. Those who have apostatized and the truth that they once loved, now they're speaking very uh, bitterly against. But if we're firmly said we can reject those empty deceptions, we can reject those uh, hollow attitudes and continue on faithfully serving Jehovah. When we're firmly rooted, we're not going to be shipwrecked by doubt. Now, questioning things is not bad in the sense where a person wants to make sure of the facts. Time something is presented and we don't quite get it. Well, rather than just simply say, well, you know, I'll accept that, but we take some time to, to make sure we understand it. That's not doubting in the sense that uh, there's no basis for this. I can't believe that's being said. That's making the truth known and firm in our hearts. That's not the same as uh, having an unfounded, damaging doubt that causes us to question things that we know are true, that we know are accurate even if we don't quite understand them. That type of doubt interferes with decision making. Uh, that type of doubt is something that Satan has used since he first turned man away from serving God. Do you remember how he did that with Eve? Eve knew very well what Jehovah said. And she knew that if she ate of that fruit, the sentence uh, would be death. Okay, basically, what he was trying to do is to put fear into Jehovah's Witnesses. To fear the ones that who was in the so-called truth. And the reason I call it so-called truth is because this, this religion is based on lies. So many lies, it's unreal. So, the thing is, they don't want you to have doubts. They don't want you to uh, think for yourself. I mean, when I was a Jehovah Witness, there's some things that made no sense. And... We were supposed to just push it aside, wait for the government body to get their information from Jehovah to give them the spiritual food to turn around and give it down to us. That's not where it's supposed to be. I mean, if this is a true religion, then any question or any doubt that you couldn't go to the elders if they can't get the answer, then they should go research to find the answers.
but they won't because they don't want to lose their position. And so they're trying to make the, the ones who leave their organization to be turning to a Satan worshiper, someone that hated the truth, and now we want to serve Satan. But as I am growing in knowledge and wisdom of learning the Bible, I have learned several things. One, Jehovah Witnesses don't read the Bible all the way through by itself. Because if they did, they would have found a lot of things that I found in the Bible. And they would have found the truth that this organization is a lie. The Bible has so many truths in it. To prove one, Jehovah Witnesses, not God's chosen people. God's chosen people is the Jews, the Hebrews. And when Jesus comes back, he's going to be going to Jerusalem. Not to New York City, not to the Watchtower, or any other religion. He's going to the Jews. The Bible is based the history of the Jews, their life, their downfalls, and what I read in the scriptures. Jesus said, the salvation is through the Jews. How so simple, if you're a Jehovah Witness, to understand that scripture. Jesus did not turn his back on the Jews. Otherwise, if he did, he wouldn't tell that Samaritan woman at the well, salvation is through the Jews. He would have said, it would be somebody else in the future, but he didn't. So, if I had to choose to side from truth for truth, I would have been on the right side, and then I would have left, and I would have been on well, from the right side, then I would have got on the left side coming in. Because these pe people on the left hand side, yes, some of it's angry. They're have a sp speaker phone. They're upset because they all been deceived. They all have their lives destroyed in a false religion, false doctrine. If you're a Jehovah Witness or not a Jehovah Witness, You need to do research on any religion, especially yours. I've studied several different religions when I came out of Jehovah's Witnesses. Because I wanted to find out, is there any truth in religion? Is there any truth you can find in any church? Well, I can tell you what my findings are. So far, I haven't found that. But the thing is, Jehovah Witnesses portray people like me as apostates, um, 
snakes of the devil and we following our father, father Satan but then I realize in one thing we left the table of Satan we are on the outside of Satan's organization named Jehovah Witnesses. We the ones who woke up and we got out. It cost us a lot and some of them cost way more than I ever have lost. But when the Bible tells us to get out of Satan's world we have to obey what the Bible says because if we don't we'll be like the ones on the right hand side of this picture stuck into a false organization a false God that does not even exist built upon a false name and false hope and I'm glad a bunch of brothers and sisters woke up and still waking up and leaving this corrupt organization that doesn't care if you live or die and a bunch of brothers and sisters did die because they listened to the them and told them we want you to die before you take blood and I'm glad I did not have to make a choice like that because a bunch of us did we probably would have been dead if we did not take blood when we was bleeding so people, please help these people and try to get them out. They come to your door, ask them questions from our videos, ask them different things to open up their minds to do research. That's what we're supposed to do. Christians are supposed to help people that is lost, that don't know the way to the light, to the Christ. We can't slam the door in our face, I mean on their face. I read articles in Facebook and people slamming the doors used to be as Jehovah Witnesses on Jehovah's Witnesses. You can't do that, people, because those people's lives is in our hands. We have to do our best to try to bring them out. If you do, do nothing, then you're giving up on someone's life. That could be one life. They could have opened up somebody else's life. We are here to help people, to reach out and show people that we love them. We can't be like them, show hatred back. That's not the way we're supposed to be. Thank you and have a nice day.